This is the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas, on a global platform. Who do I have in the studio with me? You have WWE superstar Titus O'Neil. Oh, superstar. I love that title. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I was reading up some stuff about you, and we're going to talk about the uh, Boys and Girls Club of America because they've launched a national partnership. I want to know, you know, did they choose you because of that body? Uh, <laughs> no, they chose, chose me because I'm a proud alum of the Boys and Girls Club, uh, and they felt like I would represent everything this, this partnership represents in regards to, one, I, I was bullied growing up, uh, and I know the, the significance of knowing information in regards to how to prevent bullying, uh, how it feels to be bullied, and, uh, you know, I, I just think that this is an awesome opportunity for us to use our platforms that we have on both uh, socially and on television um, to, uh, to create a, a very inviting uh, environment to hopefully eradicate bullying. Okay, I, I, I'm sure, you know, your previous life, you had to look different because, you know, looking at your promo pictures, can't imagine anybody bullying you. But I'm sure maybe 20 years ago, that, you know, we all look different, yeah. you know. <laughs> well, I'm but only you... 22 now, so yeah, I did look a little different. <laughs> okay, you did. You looked a little different at two than you did 22. But when someone yeah. is bullied, uh, what what does that do to you? I I, I don't relate. Uh, I, I, so tell me, what, right. you know, there obviously is a campaign against it. So when you're bullied, maybe as a little kid, so what does that do to you? Does it make you stronger? Uh, in some cases, uh, it does, but uh, for the most part, you know, you, some, some, most bullies end up being, you know, bullies, uh, because they were bullied and they got tired of being picked on. And then the other bullies, uh, are those that just don't have self-confidence about themselves. So they want, they'd rather try to make somebody else feel down about themselves. And that's, I think that's what, for the most part, the one, the bullies that I encountered as a youngster, um, you know, I, I come from a single parent home, a fatherless home, so I really didn't have anybody to kind of run home to. And so the Boys and Girls Club was a safe haven for me, uh, not only to learn about different crafts and, and play sports and things like that, but also to, to prevent my, uh, myself from being bullied. Because if I was at, at home in the neighborhood, there's nine times out of 10 I was gonna get into a fight or get into trouble or, uh, or, or cause some type of ruckus uh, trying to defend myself. Uh, and you know, I, I, I have I had an opportunity to uh, be away from all that stuff by going to the Boys and Girls Club. So again, this partnership uh, is more uh, is, is more meaningful to me, uh, both professionally and personally, uh, simply because I have had a past history of of being bullied. But also, I have two children, an 11 and a 9 year old son, uh, that I tell every day. The number one rule in our home is respect. You know, you respect everyone. You respect their property, uh, you respect their feelings, uh, and you respect their backgrounds, no matter where they come from. And uh, but you also, uh, I, I, get, I teach my kids to to demand respect from other people too. And the way you demand that is by giving it. So uh, hopefully, uh, the messages that we're able to do and promote throughout our platforms uh, with the Be a Star campaign at the Boys and Girls Clubs uh, throughout the country can help other kids uh, gain strength and confidence about who they are and what they're capable of being. That's a great mission, and if you can leave my audience with one piece of inspiration about the Boys and Go Go Girls Club, what would you say? Uh, one piece of information about the Boys and Girls Club that I would like to leave your audience with is that the Boys and Girls Club, for me, gave me an opportunity to realize there's no such thing as a bad person or a bad kid. There is such thing as bad influences, bad people, and bad, I mean, bad decisions. Uh, and bad environments. The Boys and Girls Club, for me, gave me an opportunity to be around greater, great people in a great environment to learn how to make greater decisions throughout life, which is why I'm in the position that I'm in today. All right. Now, you're the WWE superstar. When are we going to see you wrestling next? I got to know that. Uh, well, I just wrestled last night live on the Monday Night Raw, and hopefully you'll be able to see me again this coming Thursday on SmackDown. Titus O'Neil, you're doing Live great on work. USA. All right, you're doing great work and continue to do what you're doing for the Boys and Girls Club and continue to entertain fans on that wrestling because I love that body. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. I, 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 you've mentioned it about four or five times, so I'm coming to come to that realization. <laughs> yes, I love someone who's physically fit. I really do. And you are an example of physically Thank fit. Thank you. Thank you very much.